hello friends and welcome to shri tech education youtube channel in today's lecture we are going to study the effect of gyroscopic couple on a two wheel drive or two wheel vehicle now previous to this video we have studied what is the effect of gyroscopic couple on a four wheel drive now in that video we have studied that the effect of gyroscopic couple and overturning couple or centrifugal couple will be on the four wheel drive depending on the reaction forces on inner wheels and outer wheels acting on the four wheel drive now for this two wheel drive also there will be a gyroscopic couple as well as overturning couple acting on that vehicle now there are also two parts which will create a centrifugal sorry which will create a gyroscopic couple on the two wheel drive that is wheel and engine wheels whenever they are moving in the straight path they are rotating about its own axis that is axis of spin there will not be any gyroscopic couple due to there because there is no any axis of precession now whenever that vehicle is taking turn there will be an axis of precession perpendicular to axis of spin due to that there will be a gyroscopic couple due to wheels similarly for engine also whenever it is moving in the straight path the engine parts are rotating about its own axis there will not be any axis of precession that is there will not be any gyroscopic couple but when vehicle is taking turn there will be a gyroscopic couple acting on that now same things we will study by a stability of a two wheel vehicle taking a turn now consider this diagram a diagram in that front wheel rear wheel and engine is shown and that vehicle is taking a turn and that radius of turn we will consider it as a again capital r now for that vehicle let us consider m is mass of the vehicle and its rider in kg therefore w will be weight is equal to mg of that vehicle and rider h is the height of center of gravity of the vehicle and the rider consider small rw as a radius of vehicle sorry radius of wheels capital r as a radius of track or radius of curvature rw and re considered as a mass moment of inertia of wheels and engine omega w and omega e consider angular velocity of a wheel and angular velocity of engine g as gear ratio omega e divided by omega w isn't it small v as a linear velocity of the vehicle v is equal to r omega for wheel r w into omega w theta is equal to angle of heel that is it is the inclination of the vehicle to the vertical for equilibrium now whenever that vehicle is taking turn to wheel vehicle that has tilted with respect to vertical in b diagram i have shown that tilting of that wheel when i am looking from the front that vehicle has tilted with respect to vertical by some angle theta i have represented that angle by theta and that theta is called as a angle of heel now due to that tilting there are two couples acting on that vehicle that is centrifugal couple and a reactive gyroscopic couple now this tilted axis that is axis of spin now has been tilted and has been changed to o a it has changed to now o a instead of o x it has been changed to o a in c diagram i have shown that instead of o x it has been changed now to o a now this o a will be now axis of spin and o y is axis of precession because about that axis that vehicle has now tilted by some radius or rotating by some radius with omega p angular velocity called as i am omega p that is angular velocity of precession now and oz axis is axis of active gyroscopic couple if this is the thing then effect of gyroscopic couple as well as effect of centrifugal couple will be there on that two wheel drive first we will discuss what is the effect of gyroscopic couple on that four wheel drive 
since you are knowing that v is equal to omega w into r w that is omega w is equal to v by r w omega e is equal to g into omega w because g is a gear ratio omega e upon omega w now the total react total i into w or i into omega you will get like this by doing some calculation and velocity of precession you are knowing that omega p is equal to v by r now little consideration will show that when the wheels are moving over the curved path the vehicle is always inclined at angle theta with vertical plane as shown in this b diagram thus this angle is known as angle of heel in other words the axis of spin is inclined to the horizontal at an angle theta as shown in this c diagram as shown in this c diagram thus the angular momentum vector i w or i m omega due to spin is represented by o a o a inclined to o x at angle theta angular momentum vector i omega due to spin is represented by o a inclined to o x at an angle theta but the precessional axis is vertical only that is o y therefore the spin vector is resolved along o x axis resolved along o x axis o x axis and it will be omega cos theta this thing is important because omega that is angular velocity about axis of spin is about o a and about o x is the horizontal component of that omega that is omega cos theta therefore while calculating gyroscopic couple c1 it is equal to i into omega cos theta into omega p where i omega value in upward side i have calculated put the value of i omega into cos theta into omega p as a v by r therefore c1 i have got as a v square by r into r w into 2 into i w plus or minus g into i into cos theta now here what is plus or minus this plus or minus is whenever engine and wheel are rotating in the same direction then i will take it as a plus sign whenever both are rotating in opposite direction i will take it as a negative sign in that gyroscopic couple again i have consider effect of will gyroscopic couple due to will and effect of gyroscopic couple due to engine as well as combinedly gyroscopic couple i have got as a this last formula now a uh, note that when engine is rotating in the same direction as that of will then there are a positive sign in that equation last equation and vice versa that means if they are rotating in opposite direction there will be negative sign the gyroscopic couple will act over the vehicle in outward direction in anti clockwise direction when seen from the front of the vehicle same thing i have shown here in this b diagram as well as gyro reactive gyroscopic couple will act in outer side that is anti clockwise when you have seen from the front the tendency of this couple is to overturn the vehicle in outward direction note that now secondly we will see what is the effect of centrifugal couple this first couple is all overturning now what will happen due to centrifugal couple now first we will find out magnitude for finding centrifugal couple magnitude what is centrifugal force magnitude if c is equal to mv square upon r and now the forces act horizontally through the center of gravity along or along the outward direction therefore centrifugal couple is equal to fc into h cos theta now see here if this fc is horizontal here in this b diagram observe that then this fc into that distance vertical distance h cos theta if i multiply then i will get a overturning couple due to centrifugal force therefore up c2 is equal to fc into h cos theta since the centrifugal couple has a tendency to overturn the vehicle therefore total overturning couple will be gyroscopic couple plus centrifugal couple 
put the value of C1 and C2 in the formula of overturning couple CO. Therefore, I have got formula after some calculation V square by R into bracket twice IW plus G into I divided by RW plus MH into cos theta. Now, this overturning couple will be balanced by a balancing couple. The balancing couple act in clockwise direction because we have previously seen that in this diagram also centrifugal couple and reactive gyroscopic couple both will act always in anticlockwise direction that is an opposite side of the taking turn will always act in this anticlockwise direction we have seen from front then the balancing couple will act in opposite direction of these two that is in clockwise direction when seen when seen from the front of the vehicle therefore for stability this overturning couple must be equal to balancing couple isn't it therefore write the equation as overturning couple is equal to balancing couple balancing couple will be mgh sin theta mg is the weight of the vehicle into height from cg to ground this is h sin theta therefore mg into h sin theta is equal to overturning couple magnitude this expression gives the value of angle of heel that is theta this theta can be calculated from this equation so that vehicle does not overturn or skid we will solve a few problems or one problem based on this equation to find out angle of heel so that your vehicle will not tilt or overturn while taking turn from this equation you can find out for particular velocity or for particular mass of that vehicle and rider what should be angle of tilt so that vehicle will not overturn we'll find out one problem we'll solve one problem find the angle of inclination with respect to vertical of the two wheeler negotiating a turn given that combined mass of vehicle with respect with with its rider is 250 kg moment of inertia of the engine flywheel 0.3 kg meter square moment of inertia of each road wheel 1 kg meter square speed of engine flywheel as a five times that of the road wheel and in the same direction that means gear ratio is given and both are rotating in the same direction that means plus sign you have to take it is also given height of center of gravity of rider with respect to with vertical as a 0.6 meter h is given as a 0.6 meter two wheels two wheeler speed is 90 km per hour that means it is linear velocity v is equal to 90 km per hour convert into meter per second wheel radius is 300 mm a radius of turn is 50 meter that is capital r is given now we know that for stability the overturning couple must be equal to balancing couple in that equation put all the values given in the problem all things are given already put the values and find out the value of theta it's a simple problem you will get the value of theta so that the vehicle will not overturn now these kind of problems are very simple just you need to remember this formula that is centrifugal sorry overturning couple is equal to balancing couple in this formula put the values you will get the answer straightforward now thanks for watching in next video we will study some important mcqs for the preparation of gate as well as other competitive exams based on this gyroscope topic thanks for watching